Hey, hey, so we are here at the Asia Health Med Lab uh, convention here um, in Singapore um, at the SunTech Convention Center. So April 2nd till the 4th and welcome to Med Lab and Asia Health. Now the practice of medicine is constantly changing with new innovations. Now innovations could be new products, uh, a new scientific uh, technology, or simply a means to implement something that is already there in a much more diverse or a different uh, pattern. Now walking in, you could appreciate all types of innovative uh, products and from all over the world. This is from Switzerland. Uh, we have a team here from other European country. Uh, then, oh, some extra tables here. All right. So, so guys, we have a very innovative product here. It's for physical therapy, especially for stroke patients. And we have Yeri here. Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. All right, Hi. excellent, excellent. Yes. So what, what do you have here, Yeri? Yeah, we have, they call the XO machine. Okay. Yeah, that one actually using in hospital the stroke patient especially so I will show you how to walk in so before already I'm let's start the patient so choosing your first name like this test number one in patient selects that automatically is setting up be pretty high the size okay so basically what she's doing is she is registering a patient into her system yes what she's doing is at, telling the system how tall is the patient okay. so the patient can fit properly so the, mind you this is for stroke uh, patients and they have uh, for um, patients who have other disorders as well yes yes like what like the actually especially for the stroke patient okay, okay. and the other the hemiplegia uh -huh. all right excellent mm -hmm. so so she was telling me that this is um, this teaches patients how to walk and it tracks their progress as well as Teaching them, teaching them how to drive, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Can you see this in motion? Yeah, sure. So, I'm gonna start to walk first. That is standing and just walking. Okay, excellent. Okay, the other mode is walk and drive. Alright, so basically simulating the process of walking and yeah. rehabilitation. Yeah, that's right. So, using the joystick. So they can use a joystick to navigate themselves, is that it? That's right. Excellent. So before I tell you guys, that one is for the stroke patient. So we don't know if the stroke patient is right side website. So we got the two joysticks. Even the using the... So it depends on if you're right-handed or left-handed. Yes. You can basically use whichever hand you want. All right, excellent, Yuri. Thank you so much yeah, for the demonstration. You. Yes. So, Yuri, how can they contact you in case anybody's interested? And this yes. product is undergoing FDA approval in the process at this time. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, I better just use my name card. Oh, or sure. Yes. Okay. So, you guys. Okay. So this is this is uh, her name card. Yes. A number is uh, eight two one zero six one zero six. 1027 and this is from Korea. Yeah, that's right, that's right. All right, excellent. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you thank so you. much. So, yeah. another awesome product from the from from Korea, correct? Yeah. All right. Jinu wow, wow. and Shalin. 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 Jinu and Shalin. Oh. Anyway, how, how are you doing? So, what what do you have here? So, they have a robot. So, uh, we know that Korea is in a lot of cars electronics and the Samsung phone that I'm holding right now mm -hmm. but they're also into robotics and this is a a robot that assists uh, dementia patients patient with Alzheimer's dementia etc in 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 slowing the progression of their disease so can you tell me about your product a little bit okay. sure <laughs> well so Bob, so Bob is actually the first dementia care robot in the world what it does is actually it plays and have activities with the dementia patient and uh, we actually have developed a couple of games, about 17 games in the libraries now. Okay, let's, ha let's have a look at the game. So she's basically oh, saying oh, it, yes. it plays with dementia patients, so keep them active. Yes. So they have a couple of games here. They have bingo here, mm -hmm. they have uh, calculation, they have 
um, s singing songs, so this can dance as well? Yes, 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 yes it can dance. Okay, it can, it can dance. dance. Okay, yes. we'll, ha we'll have a little bit of a demonstration. Okay. So now we have the robot. It's going to be in Chinese? What is this? It's going to be... In Korean. It's, a, it's going to be a Korean, Korean song. song. Yes. So if you don't understand, it's okay. <laughs> So basically, anybody who knows this song will really get into it and dance with the, with the robot, especially if it's a older song for people of that age. <laughs> so now, what else uh, this robot does is that robot can recognize the, the squares on the, on the ground that you see, and the robot also plays a game where it walks around the squares and then the elderly people have to follow the robot. Now the robot can actually assess if the elderly gentleman or uh, lady is actually walking correctly. Is that, is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay, yes, excellent. Exactly. And it can also perform multiple, multiple player games and it can interact with, with the, with, 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 with the uh, residents. So it could be a nursing home resident, it could be a rehabilitation center, it could be, it could be anything? Yes, right. Okay, right. so how is it being implemented in Korea at this time? Okay, let me show you a video. Okay. Explain to them how to, how to play this game. And how to, and then, he's dancing while the lyrics of that song is, uh, is displayed on the monitor. So as you can see here, this is, this is a live demonstration happening in Korea. And the robot is actually interacting with the, with the residents, playing a song, and as you can see, people are highly involved. And this is a good intellectual type of activity or activity of uh, community ship and uh, basically something, something to entertain and keep uh, the uh, dementia patients active, and that is essential in, in keeping them involved in day-to-day -day activities. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, right. Okay, excellent. Right. And after this song, there's uh, some questions come out and they need an uh, empty rig. So they have to, uh, while they are listening to music, they also have to watch it, the lyrics they have to remember it. So, so there's a video playing at the back as well and they have to remember yeah. some of the texts. So a lot of games testing memory, uh, uh, memory and intuition, is that correct? Yes, right, right. Okay, excellent. All right, all right, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. So now we are here with Mr. Ian Movini. Hey Ian, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Okay, excellent. So Ian has something which I, which I uh, loved watching yesterday. So he has a designer, uh, designer um, a patient um, a registration wristband um, for, for basically kids, correct? Can you show, show us a sample? It's a tourniquet for blood collection for children. Okay. So what we did really is it, it, it took its um, design idea from a wristband that okay, ID tags, uh -huh. but what we realize is that when children have their blood taken, they get very anxious. This is really designed to distract from the procedure, so they come, you see they have a, a, a snake and an elephant, they choose which one they want, and it's very, very simple to use. You peel the tag off, and then you wrap it around the wrist, or, or, or around the arm of the child, and that has enough tension to... Uh, bring up the blood vessels bring on the blood to take a blood okay. test and at the end of it you then can give it to the, the child as a souvenir wristband. So so yeah, anybody with kids would realize that they need all the support they can get when, when the time comes around unfortunately if a kid needs to have their blood drawn, is that correct? Absolutely. We, we've done a lot of testing on this for children and they really like the design, it distracts them at what can be difficult time having blood Excellent. tests. And you have one more product, it's a, it's, a, it's a vein finder, is that correct? Yeah, well, yes, absolutely. I don't have it on, on display at the moment. It's called Vacuderm. It's the okay. same sort of technology. It's a, it's a device like this, which you put around the arm, and it has a pump on it. And as you pump up the pump, it brings up the right. veins. Excellent, it's excellent. Difficult, difficult to cannulate patients. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, we see those patients all the time. It could be IV drug abusers, it could be patients um, with edema, CHF, or, or any type of 
um, disorder where fluid accumulates um, in the areas which you need access to. Is that correct? That's correct. Excellent, yes. excellent. It's all about infection control, exactly. making blood collection or cannulation exactly. easier, simpler, and safer. Excellent. And Ian, how, how can people reach you? Uh, ASEPHealthcare.com. A S E T healthcare.com. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. So n now, guys, I'm here with uh, with a booth from Turkey, and we have Ehlan. Yeah, uh, hello, and and Hassan here. Hey, how are hello. you doing? Hello. hello, excellent. So now they have an excellent product. Let me let me walk you through. They develop a mobile units uh, that can tackle every anything that you need on Earth. You need a you need a gynae mobile unit unit. You need a surgical unit. You need a welfare. You have a welfare project and you're providing care remotely, you're in a disaster zone, they can take care of it. If you look at this, they provide platforms, they have extra machines, they have uh, whole operation theaters that they can provide uh, in a mobile unit. So you can do whatever you want. You can go in a, in a war zone if, you, if you're into that, or, or you're, you're in, into welfare of any nature. It's a flood, it's a tornado, it's an earthquake. These are the people you, you need to contact. Is that, is that correct, Hassan? Yes, correct. Okay. Correct. Is that okay. correct? And also you can check the, uh, the product range, what they are. Military shelters, bakeries, okay. field hospitals, yeah. Excellent. So, so ambulances to military yeah. shelters to cold storage, um, mobile, mobile laundry. Yeah. You can see they have some x-rays over here. And you can see the different designs that they have. So, so how do you do it? So uh, you can provide us with a complete yes. uh, complete uh, mobile unit, including the medical equipment uh, also, yeah. Equipment, trucks, uh, as well yeah. as you can make containers that people can put on their own uh, um, uh, 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 containers that can that you can put on your own trucks. Is yes. that correct? Is that correct? Of course. We're we are using the international uh, two-inch kingpin. Okay. And uh, you can use the, this trailer with the old trucks. Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, in so, all of the world. So we sent my, produ uh, my products to Honduras also, Central America. Okay, where else have you, has, has it gone so far? Uh, in, uh, for what? Where else have you have your pageant products been so far? Yeah, in, uh, depends, of course, depends. We sent to Honduras, for example. Okay. This uh, truck was for mobile uh, mammography, mobile gynecology, uh -huh. mobile dental. Okay, yeah, so everything working, everything's uh, covered. It's a whole hospital. Yes, is that yes, correct? Yes, okay. correct. And correct. it's in different. This is also. I've heard it was in Afghanistan as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course, and the uh, Iraq and the uh, Indonesia and the United Nations and for Red Cross and the uh, Minister of Health, Defense, and uh, very open. Okay, very excellent, open. excellent, excellent. So, so. And also, I want to show these products to you. For sure. example, this. Uh -huh. This is two side expandable, and this is the productions. And this is the uh, finished one. After that is all finished, there is a, this is a full mobile hospital. Okay, so this is what he's saying. This is the production system production, in, tur yeah, in Turkey. Turkey. Yeah, yeah, this is our factory. Okay, after this yeah. finish, this is using like a, this hospital. You can establish a fee fully functional 100 field. 100 bed hospital. 100 bed, bed hospital. Fully functional fully field, function field yes. hospital. Field Excellent. Hospitals. Excellent. This is clinics. Okay. This is 18.4 meters mobile clinics. It's including dental, and the uh, x-ray and doctor room and the nurse room laboratory and everything is included excellent and excellent also there's a patient lift here and when it's using the patient is uh, automatically lifting okay excellent you can see some of these pictures that they have this is this is this is a cutting is, edge technology yeah this is this is also the first one in the world this is very important project why the all uh, companies is manufacturing the icu is separate OR unit is separate. What we do, we collect the operating room and ICU units in the one container like this. This is drawings, this is drawings, uh, OR units, and it's ICU units. This is the product, and this is inside product. Excellent, so ICU, OR, maternity, in the mammography, uh, clinics, um, cold storage, laundry, mobile hospital, everything is covered. Yes. Hassan, how can they reach you? How can they reach you if they want to contact you? Yeah. How can they reach you? They can contact with me for, uh, from my website, from my email, and... Uh, what is your website? www.optimatechnic.com O-P-T-I-M-A-T-E-C-H-N-I-C -E Exactly, right here. Optima Technic and right here. Okay, you can look at the contact information, phone number here, telephone number is 
plus 903-12-815-1454. Excellent. And uh, email is info at optimatechnic.com. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Thank, thank you so you. much, Hassan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now we have something that will interest all of my physician and nurse, nurse friends. And this is going to be, this is going to be magical. Look, the first time I saw it, I said, I'm going, I'm, going, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it right away. Okay, so, so, uh, so what, what do you have here? This is the OmniPro, which is a universal diagnostic tool, which incorporates an ophthalmoscope, an otoscope, all sorts of different items, and clips onto a stethoscope. So here, first of all, we'll remove it from the stethoscope. And you can see straight away that we have an ophthalmoscope. So by switching it on here, you can see the different views, the typical views of an ophthalmoscope, the crosshairs, the half moon, and so on. If we take the ophthalmoscope off, we now have an otoscope. Excellent. Not very proficient at this. It actually does, it's actually very, very smooth when you look at it. So there's excellent, the excellent. Excellent. See that? You can look at the That's nose, the outside, you can look you can at look the ear, you, you can, can do anything look you in like, the mouth. Really. You have a tongue depressor as well, right? That we have a tongue depressor. We don't have one here, but the tongue depressor slides in here, and then the light is there, so that can be. Uh, so this this for is going to yeah, depressor. this is going to be magical for anybody who sees patients in the ER, in the primary care practice, in an yeah. urgent care setting. Exactly. Is that, is that correct? Exactly. Nursing home or any any physician. Uh, I mean, uh, if you if you are an inpatient physician, you you are an intensivist. You, you, you may need, you will definitely have yeah, a use for this. You normally have to carry around 10 different items. You exactly. Know, ophthalmoscope in this pocket, an otoscope in this pocket, stethoscope, audiometer. We have an audiometer as well. This is used for the Babinski test. Uh, then if you take the end off here, this is now the equivalent of tuning forks. So by pressing on the end here, you can feel the vibration of the tuning forks. Excellent. You can you or can you can use it as a uh, an audio uh, audiometer by listening for the sound. It's 50 dBs at uh, four different hertz levels. And you also had a tuning uh, a hammer a hammer connected with the system as there well. Is. Correct. That's right. That's right. I'll show you that as well. That comes with a stethoscope. So basically, you can do your Rene and your Weber's test all all with. So this, this is a conventional system. stethoscope, very high quality stethoscope, which you can use in a conventional way. Or you can turn this like this and use it like this. Okay, and you can, as a result, keep slightly further away from the patient. But then also this can double as a Babinski hammer. That's the only stethoscope in the world that can do that. Excellent, excellent. So this all uh, comes together in a very compact, uh, compact. Um, uh, what do you call it? A compact size yeah, device compact that size clips device onto yeah. uh, uh, the, the stethoscope. Is that correct? That's correct. So. He so guys, this is it. This is this is on your shoulder. You have this whole setup, and this is fairly smooth and easy to work with. You have your whole setup on your shoulder. You are a whole uh, clinical examination uh, kit right here with you. And how much? How much does it cost? This would cost four hundred ninety-nine U.S. dollars. Okay, excellent. So, so this this is easily covered by any CME money you're you're, you're getting. So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, right. excellent. Where can we get this? You can get it online from HMD. If you look at HMD Hong Kong, you can find our shop there and you can buy it online. Okay, and it's also going to be available on Amazon, is that correct? It'll be available on Amazon, yeah. A and is it already in production? Is it already on it's stores? Production is starting in three weeks' time, so it'll be in, in stores from about the beginning of May. Middle okay, of May. excellent. So, so guys, anybody in the US, Basically, for U.S. people, it's on Amazon. Is that Amazon, absolutely. Excellent. For uh, in the U.S. and on Amazon, and the rest of the world, it's it's on on Amazon again, or direct to HMD.com. Okay. HMD. Hong HMD. Kong. HMD.com, and and it's called OmniPro, Omni uh, multifunction medical devices. And you're also having a nursing. A, um, an, a, a, we will be developing a nursing product as well in the near future, but that's. Uh, Still to come. Okay, so anybody interested in that, stay tuned. Is that correct? Absolutely. Excellent. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. Pleasure.